right, here we are, 26 Devonshire Drive, here in the Gales Ferry area of Ledyard. We are set back on a low traffic location, the road a couple hundred feet back. And what we have here is a split level home that's ripe for your HGTV inspired updates. We can see, you can see right here, we've got the two car garage. My total living area in this home is 1,906 square feet. The roof is newer. The couple things that we do have that we'll point out, this is an estate sale. Uh, there's the uh, chimney right there. It does need a little bit of attention on the brick, a little bit of spalding. The home though has got a very tranquil and quiet location. This is four bedrooms, two and a half baths. And like I said, just bring your ideas. We've got a coat closet behind this mirrored bifold. You can see right there, we've got central vac in this home. There's a gas log right there. The parquet flooring, you can see that. This is my living room area right here. Behind that door, half bath we'll get to when we go upstairs. We're gonna catch the end of the daylight, so I'll try to get through here as quick as possible. Formal dining right here. We have a nice deck area. And how's this for privacy? You're gonna lose sight of that house as soon as the, the uh, leaves come back out. We do have the um, AC condenser, the bulkhead right there, take note of that. But this is all gonna fill in, giving you privacy here with this home. The decking, it's older wood decking, definitely could use an update like the Juliet balcony up there off the master. So some good things that this house has is the square footage and good bones. So we've got a nice little pantry area right here in this kitchen. You've got the wall ovens, cooktop right there. I've got good ceiling height, eight foot high ceiling. This space is due west right here, so you can have bright, sunny afternoons in this living space. Right here, this is your breakfast area. And we've got, because it's a split level, we've got one, two, three, four, five steps down to the main family area right here. And you've got a good sight line between the kitchen and the uh, breakfast into the family room right here. We've got the deck right here, which connects back up. I'd love to have a, maybe a grill right there. This is another fireplace, wood burning fireplace right there. My two car garage. Plenty big, you've got your laundry sink right there. We've got the half bath, and I'll do the basement last for you. Half bath is right off the foyer. Take a peek right here. So we've got basically three quarters of a flight of stairs up. Our master is to the left, two, sorry, three bedrooms, and the guest bath is over there. We do have the cellar pulled out the old carpet and is letting you decide what you want to do here with finished flooring. There is a nice walk in or actually step up attic. You can see this step up right here is about 30 inches. So, yeah, the flooring, we've got a quote from a local floor covering shop in Norwich. That's actually the name of it. Do you want hardwood? Do you want laminate? It's up to you. But we do not want to make that decision that you'll have to live with. So that's going to be left for you. So the bathroom again ready for some updating it's got the closed in commode area this happens to have a shower tub shower 
Here's my walk-in closet serving the primary bedroom right here. Nice little linen closet right there. We'll take you through the three bedrooms, the secondary bedrooms. We have a total of four. So we have the hardwood flooring right here, looking out toward the front yard. Most of the windows in the house happen to be Anderson's, so if you do need to get some parts, easy to get, a, get parts from the Anderson window manufacturer. That's a reach-in closet right there. I'm dead center on the house. Front yard and driveway coming in is right there. And here's bedroom number four. This is over the garage. Looking out toward the right side of the home. Another reach-in closet there. And here we go with bed bathroom number two. Another tub shower. Vinyl flooring right here. Got one more level to show you. That's going to be the unfinished basement. This home has oil-fired heat, oil-fired hot water. Here's my central vac right here. Here's my oil tank. We are well and septic. So right here is my well tank. Above that is my breaker panel. This right here is actually nothing. The uh, family says that at one point the dad was thinking of taking this, which is a uh, wood-burning furnace, connecting it to the ductwork. That project never happened. So this is my oil-fired forced warm air system. Again, ready to upgrade as far as I'm concerned, but it does operate. Bulkhead access out. What's interesting here, this little pipe, I figured out what that was. It's bringing fresh air in over to the furnace. And here's my sump pump right here. This sump pit is actually dry. The line's not connected to anywhere. I think at some point there had to have been uh, um, an event where you wanted to have that hooked up and connected properly, so I'd get that reconnected. Washer dryer hookup is right there. So that's it. That's what we've got for 26 Devonshire Drive here in Gales Ferry. I would definitely get a hold of your favorite agent and get your showing scheduled. Thank you.